Talking with Maryville head coach Mike Denny, 50th year coaching uh, college wrestling, and talk about how special it is. Does it ever get old coming to the national tournament? No, I know it doesn't. And of course, it gets, we've got such a new influx of teams, so all new coaches now. I get to meet all new coaches, and actually, there's very few of the ones still left that you know that are around from my you know our you know the early era kind of stuff. But uh, you know, there's there's a few left. So uh, yeah, you know what? It's a you know the excitement of it just the there's always this is this is the final you know competition this is kind of you know our guys have you know, worked for this opportunity so you know that excitement it's it's great it's uh you know so i've i've enjoyed everyone looking forward to this one an even more special time here in cleveland last night inducted into the national hall of fame how special was that for you well see so you, you know that we every year we uh uh, you know, induct people into that, and of course, going back, Jim Cook. Now it's named after Jim Cook, a special friend of mine. So that was really special, you know, that now our uh, our Hall of Fame is named after him. And of course, uh, you know, he was him and I were friends for 41 years. So uh, yeah, it was a you know always a great evening. To hear the athletes talk about you know kind of uh, their perspective now as they come back and what really mattered you know what really meant just it was it's so awesome to listen to them so uh, that's always a great part i really enjoy that that part of it and then you know just to connect with you know i've got former wrestlers now steve costanza coaching at uh you, you know at st cloud state net rank number one again and then you know he wrestled for us was apprentice wrestler for us mark bauer who now is the ad and nebraska carney just talked with him you saw me coach or talking to him so you know, to make those connections again, and uh, so, uh, you know, that just, it feels great to be here, and you know, I feel it's a pleasure and honor to be here, you know, so. That's right. I told my team, I said, glad you guys brought me along. I'm glad I was, you let me on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> as far as your squad coming in here to Cleveland, you qualify seven. Really, do you feel like you, you, you've got a strong, good, good, a lot of traction and move deep through the brackets? You know, we, uh, this is a special bunch. We're young. We only have one senior. Ethan Sherritt's our, our senior. But I have, you know, there's three of these that their dads wrestled for me in college. So on this team, three sophomores whose dads wrestled. We have five on our team now whose dads wrestled for me in, in, uh, in college. So, you know, that's special. I've got my 30th set of brothers. You know, I've coached four sets of three brothers, and then we've got a set of brothers on on this on this team so you know this is a spe this is a special bunch of my 50 years and my wife would agree with it this is a special bunch from top to bottom just a special bunch of young men that I kind of just do it the right way and they mo I tell them all the time they motivate and inspire me uh, which they do uh, just uh, you know just their their character their work power just their you know uh, their attitude uh, their lifestyle is just uh, motivating and inspiring to me so probably the reason I keep doing it you know kind of thing so yeah they're a special bunch I think we'll you know I think we'll do well we wrestled well in the regionals and you know to keep that going you like to get on a uh, you know get clicked into a good mode at the end of the season so uh, yeah looking forward to it and one thing that's so unique and special about uh, your Maryville program is the environment the community that you create and is that something that you developed through your years early in your career or kind of as you got along to Nebraska Omaha well, you know, I've always, you know, uh, it, it just goes back to this. I found over the years teams that I was in, involved with and, you know, from my, you know, athletic career, the teams that are the closest, the individuals perform the best. So I think the closer you, the, the tighter your family, the better the individuals are going to perform, whatever sport, you know, and uh, so I've, I've always worked hard to create that, and I think it's it, it's vital. You know, the whole thing is vital, and uh, you know we have what we call team power. This group has some team power. They are tight. They're, you know, we do all kinds of things together: community service, church, you know, that kind of thing. We just so this group is is a special group that way. But we've always worked on that, you know, and uh, I see Steve Casanzo doing it at St. Cloud State. I see Mark Bauer now doing it as an athletic director, pulling that whole, you know, just all those coaches. I see him working on the team power. So, um, you know, they realize, too, that the teams that are closest, the individuals perform the best. So.